Just really quickly for a cl- the, the Cliff Notes version, if you will, I was one of the United States Navy's first female F-14 Tomcat fighter pilots. Casual. So casually yes. drop that. That's how we start the podcast. We just casually drop that in there. I love it. Just, just, just one of those things. Um, <laughs> but I spent about 10 years doing that and then transitioned out. But I was, I was super fortunate during that time. As I like to tell people, I was able to work with some of the world's most uh, outstanding teammates, mm. as well as some that provided coaching opportunities. Mm-hmm. Myself, on more than one occasion, I promise <laughs> you, no doubt. Um, but I was able to learn some of my, uh, I think, really strongest life lessons, not just mm-hmm. in in leadership or in flying, but also just great life lessons. Mm-hmm. And as you alluded to, I took the time uh, a few years back to reflect on that and really net it down and come away with some some pretty strong lessons learned there. So for the last 15 years or so, I've actually been working with Fortune 1, Fortune 500 companies, helping people, business owners, leaders, managers, build not only their own individual leadership skill sets, but also to grow and develop mm. high-performing teams. And what I've found to be the case over two decades of research is that there are some attributes of people in leadership positions or owner positions that net out to be true, that those people who are able to achieve high performance and success consistently and stay relevant for the long term uh, usually generally operate with courage, with tenacity and with integrity. Mm -hmm. But then on a group level or an organizational or team level, there are a couple of really notable consistent levers. They're always able to establish a vision for their team. And then they generally have a straightforward process Mm -hmm. that allows them to replicate successful execution. And then there's also an element of resiliency in the people that I've I've worked with that have been able to sustain high performance for a long period of time. So what fascinates me in, in this research and the people I've been able to work with and whether it's strategic planning or account planning or, or the leadership development process is not just the people who, who are successful one time, right? Who, who, broke that world record or hit some big number or had this flash in the pan success. But those who have not only been able to sustain success, but also I'm super intrigued by the people who have, who have taken the concrete block to the face, Mm -hmm. if you will, Mm -hmm. and have found themselves in really extremely um, catastrophic situations Mm -hmm. and have been able to come back stronger from that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's fascinating because what I, what I discovered with that first book was that the one thing that holds to be true across every organization, across every industry, across every, um, anything that somebody has the possibility to achieve more in Mm -hmm. is that it's going to take you having the ability to not only just feel the fear, if you will, and go forward anyway, but to take it and shape it into something useful. Mm. Because otherwise what can happen, I think some of what I see now, people are like, oh, I'm not supposed to feel fear. And obviously the title of my first book was Fearless Leadership. And sometimes people can internalize that as, okay, I just should go for it, right? I shouldn't I should be fearless and just go or, or, well, this means I shouldn't feel anything. And that's not true, right? It's, it's building up enough experience and having processes and habits mm. in place that allow you to make better decisions, whether you're an owner, whether you're just starting out of the gate or whether you've been at this for years and maybe you're in the middle of a lane change, but to make better decisions and then also have the humility and be able to set your ego aside so that you can learn, right? That we're, we, we put ourselves in a place where we stay, stay engaged and relentlessly curious.